What I'm about to share with you has the potential to completely transform your life. I know when I first learned it, I saw the whole entire world in a completely new way. It helped me to understand other people, understand my own psychology, understand how I could raise my vibration to a new level of consciousness. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you the most transformative process or model for understanding human behavior, human psychology. And uh, I truly believe that you'll never see the world the exact same way after you watch this video. You'll understand it in a completely new way and I'm super excited to share it with you in this video. Welcome back to another video. My name's Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness by making spirituality both practical and relatable. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you that on Spiral Dynamics. This is a book that was written, a model, a way for seeing the rea seeing reality, uh, understanding psychology. Some people call it evolutionary psychology. And a lot of actually what's happening in the world right now, what I believe is many people are going through what is called a spiritual awakening, are upgrading to a new level of consciousness. And I'm going to be sharing with you in this video about that because I, I believe it's also uh, related to a lot of what's happening in the world right now, especially when it comes to the Great Awakening, a lot of information becoming aware, uh, kind of brought to the surface, and a lot of people uh, starting to have new perspectives on different things. Now, first off, let me shout out the authors of the book and people that have also added and attribute, contributed to this work. Uh, you've got Don Howard, Don Howard Beck, Christopher Cohen, Claire Graves, Ken Wilbur. Uh, these are all people that have added to a lot of the information that has to do with spiral dynamics and uh, branching off of different concepts of spiral dynamics. And if you've seen me share that of power versus force before, uh, what you'll notice is that um, there's some correlation. Power versus force has that, that uh, chart. You'll see the chart right here. This is power versus force. You'll see shame, fear, guilt, anger, neutrality. Then eventually you see reasoning, joy, love, peace, enlightenment. These are all different levels of consciousness. I've shared that in hundreds of my YouTube videos talking about vibration. I would say spiral dynamics is a little bit more accurate in many ways and understanding different models of reality and different psychology, but it's a little bit harder to understand. So I'm gonna do my best to keep this simple. Um, there's other videos on YouTube that go much deeper into this process. So I'm not the only one that's made videos on this. I'm not necessarily an expert at it, but I do think it's fascinating and I do wanna share my perspective and kinda how I see this whole process. So in a way, the colors, they're represented by colors that represent different modes of consciousness, different models, different behavior structures, different value systems. A lot of it has to do with value systems. What do different levels value? Now, the interesting thing about spiral dynamics is once you understand it, you can then see why certain people think a certain way and why different colors argue with each other because they're literally different levels of consciousness. They're different levels of psychology. Psychology. And because of those perspectives, that's why there is that pushback. That's why they think differently. So first off, let me explain that. Uh, I'm going to quickly go over the bottom two. Now the bottom two are the very uh, primitive and very basic needs and levels. We've evolved past that thousands and thousands of years ago as a society, but there are still purple. Uh, there's it's beige and purple. So beige is that of like being a baby. Think about a baby. A baby needs all the attention. A baby's in complete survival. Uh, a baby's, a baby's uh, living on instinct, instinct, and it's completely in survival mode. That would be the color of beige. Now, when you get to that of purple, purple is a level of evolution, and you can even look through all of these colors in that of uh, societal progress, and at certain points in our past, you'll notice that that's when we lived at that level. Now, when we talk about purple, purple has to do with tribes, groups of people, uh, tribes and people that may also worship spirit like, uh, like different gods and, and need to please the gods, and, and it has to do with Understanding that at beige there's survival. Maybe think of that like cavemen in a way that are just based on survival, very instinctive, maybe don't have great language patterns and linguistics. And then eventually what happens is they evolve at a level to where they say, you know what, if we get together and we team up, 
once they develop linguistics and everything, they say, May, what we do is we get together, then we're safer. Then we can uh, have different roles. We can have different people that do different things within the tribe, that have different strengths. We can have some people that go out and hunt. And the idea is that then there's a tribal mentality there of wanting to feel safe. Then that's the purple stage. Now, what you'll notice as well is you may not be able to completely see it, but every level isolates and goes back and forth between individual, individual type energy to collective energy. Individual, collective, individual, collective, individual, collective. So there's almost like this contraction and, and this moving back and forth of, of, uh, of expansion to contraction, expansion to contraction from individual to collective. So individual was the baby, was just like focused on survival. Then collective is purple because collective is like, let's team up together. Let's be in a group community because then we're safer. Then what we get is we get the color of red. Once again, that's individual. Red is that of control, high competition, power. Now red would be having some type of dictator somebody that wants to control. Eventually what happens is the purple of the tribe, then what you get is one person in the tribe that maybe says, you know what, I wanna have all the power. I wanna be the one to dominate. And if I can dominate, then we can get more done because then it's all singular focused. Maybe before in the tribe it was harder to come up to decisions, but in red, somebody may in the purple tribe say I evolved to a level of red, which is all about control, high competition, and then power. And uh, that would be symbolized and looked at in the past as uh, maybe different dictatorships that decided this is, this is who I am, this is what I believe. And you could say that a lot of that competition, um, sometimes you'll see it in business as well, some really, really high level of competition. Business is actually normally in orange, but maybe someone like uh, Hitler or somebody like maybe very negative, power hungry type mentalities uh, that were craving that power. So that, that's red. So red still exists and even some purple still exists on the world today. You can go to different places and different countries where they still live in tribes um, and have that kind of mentality. Uh, red would be the, the dictatorship and the power. Then what we move into is blue. Now blue is once again collective. Blue is that of conformity, religion, rules, regulation. A lot of what we may see uh, when it comes to religion would be blue. It'd be a certain way of thinking. It would be a certain model way of thinking. And the idea is that if you don't agree with it, then you are wrong. And there's rules and regulation that want to be put in place. And uh, a lot of what's in America, many times, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of blue in America in many ways. And this is, uh, you know, when I grew up, I was I would see and notice people that were like this and even in some ways I'd say that maybe my dad had some of these mentalities of conformity religion and rules he wasn't necessarily religious he my dad I don't know you can kind of see there's there's different gravities to this in a way it's not like you're just going to be one color for your level of consciousness and I'll share with you where most of my YouTube audience is as well as I move through this but with blue it's rules regulation now the thing is is when people are in the blue, which means that they are in that level of consciousness of religion, rules, um, they want the, uh, they want the, the, the regulation, the government regulation, um, that's where they get their sense of safety. That's where they get their sense of identity. And there's a lot of things, any of that, these higher levels right here will threaten blue. And they may see, and, and that this is why and I'll share with you a, um, a uh, exercise that I did. I was at Tony Robbins conference back in December. He actually teaches part of this process and he does this interesting exercise, which I'll share with you in a little bit, which uh, helps understand these different levels. Now, the, with that of blue is religion, regulation. Um, like I said, it's, it's something that's a big structure that people feel safe in. And if somebody else doesn't agree with it, you think they are wrong. And you think that there's, um, they're not right and you remain firm on that because of your sense of safety. Now, once that level is, at, which again is a collective level, is transcended, there then becomes a point to where then orange. Orange is achievement, success, personal development. It is uh, hustling, working hard. It is marketing, all science, technology. 
These are all characteristics of that of orange. In the orange mindset, it is about capitalism and understanding that if you can become successful, if you can gain the resources, then that is where the power is. So this is where a lot of businesses, this is also, what you also realize is that as these isolate back and forth, the individualness is masculine and then the collective is feminine. The red is masculine, the blue is feminine. The orange is masculine, business very masculine. And it's interesting, a lot of times when you see people go from blue to orange, blue is conformity, religion. People may realize that religion many times can be very limiting. Maybe they don't agree with it anymore. Sometimes what'll happen is that then people in the orange, then they go into orange. Orange is materialism, it's physicalness. That's a lot of times where you may find eight people that turn atheists because then they go from this into this, whereas more of the spiritual levels are, are uh, up in the higher realms, which we'll talk about in the higher levels. Uh, that's a lot of times where that would happen. They'll say, you know what, this, all of this wasn't true. Maybe they had some painful experiences in blue. Um, they they uh, then kind of rebel against it and then they become orange. That is about success, science, technology, progress, um, a lot, a lot, a lot of America is in orange. I'd say between blue, orange, and green is most of America, uh, just in general. Now, eventually what happens in orange is you become successful or you don't become successful, but you bang around in orange for a while and you start to integrate it. And then what you realize is that money doesn't bring happiness. You realize that even though you got a lot of progress and you spend a lot of time growing your business that maybe you didn't spend enough time with your family or kids. And what you then start to value is your value from achievement, success, um, and, and hard work. You then realize that you want to have better relationships, that life is really determined by the kind of relationships you have of your level of happiness. So in green, this is about community, relationship, caring for others. This is about understanding um, and valuing these, these different characteristics. Uh, animals, loving animals. Many people that we call and consider to be vegan are in green. People, there's also a sense of community here, so there can also be the labels. If you, if you want, I heard this from um, actualize.org's video, the most perfect uh, example of green would be Burning Man. Community gets together, they go through and they create a really cool experience of love and joy and peace and connection with each other. They may even do psychedelics, which may be very green. And, um, and what they'll find is that by doing all that, they feel very connected, they have a great time. And then at the end, what do they do? They clean up. This is, it has happens in Nevada, if you've ever heard of Burning Man, they clean up every little piece that was ever picked to ever pick up. Because the other thing that's realized in orange is that with progress and success, what happens is that eventually you end up destroying the planet. So then what green does is green says, you know what, this isn't cool. We can't be destroying the planet. We're all connected. We're all a part of this. So then green is all also about the environment. And that's why being vegan, that's why many of the green environmentalists, um, those are all very green perspectives. Whereas you want everyone to win. Now, this is a bitter pill to swallow going from orange to green because in orange you have to surrender to the work hard progress in orange it's like you know the green people are annoying why because these green people are all about everybody else having having abundance well i had to work hard for my abundance i had to do so much work and i had to grind it why would i give away my wealth and my my money to somebody to other people why don't they work for it they can then deserve it you see that's the perspective of orange but in order to progress up to green, you have to eventually realize that we're all connected and realize that we're all in this together and realize this unity between all of us. So it's very interesting because in the, the way the orange sees the blue, the blue's all about religion, the blue's all, the blue's all about um, conformity and rules. Well, the oranges find them to be very square, to be very boring, to be very caught up in their own belief system. Oranges will do whatever it takes to become successful. The blues won't because they'll operate between that of the, uh, the rules that they give themselves, the regulation, their own religion. So it's an interesting dynamic, but orange is then all about that level of progress and doing whatever it takes to become successful. Now there's dark and light sides of each side. What means is 
There could be a positive orange and negative orange. Negative orange is maybe uh, a crook or somebody that's like trying to scam people. That would be more of the negative side of orange. The positive side of orange would be somebody that's moving forward with progress and uh, having success, business, um, and, 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 and then going in that direction. Just like green, green can have both positive and negative. Could have somebody that's very radical about it and doing it in a vi more violent way. Each side of these will have the both positive and the negative. Now, what we'll eventually realize in the green level is once we get to that, and let me share with you where I think the, uh, my, the whole audience, if you're watching this video, where you most likely are as well. What eventually you realize is, oh, I love animals, I love all these, I love the earth, I love all these things, but by simply loving it, doesn't actually transform it. What eventually happens is then, this is all tier one. All of green and down is called tier one. Tier two is yellow and turquoise. Now, what happens is a big shift happens between green and yellow. And what happens is yellow is all about the practicalness of developing systems to actually solving all the problems. So you realize in green, well, this is great. I love everything. And um, I, I want animals and all the, the um, you know, to be safe towards the environment, but it's not actually getting the results. Well, at the level of yellow, it's all about systematic thinking, understanding all perspective, applying the knowledge and change. It's very practical. So with yellow, which is once again individual, going back to the individual, it is about figuring out and being able to see through all these different lenses because as you move up these levels, you carry with you some of the, you, you carry with you the knowledge of the prior levels. So once you're in orange, you can understand blue because you were at once blue. You don't skip levels here. You, you go through the levels to then move up. And when people do skip levels, you'll find that they're, they may be very ungrounded in certain ways and then have to kind of go back. When I went through my awakening, I jumped up, but then I went back because I wanted to actually learn and to develop a foundation at a different level. And I'll explain more of that. And I'll do more videos on this if you want me to, if you guys find this fascinating. Then what you'll find is uh, turquoise is once again, the collective level, this is holistic. This is all love and light. This is being able to uh, connect to everyone, one at the environment. There is no real separation. It's like, I am everything. This is where a lot of enlightenment may be. The idea of people being uh, enlightened and realizing that they are connected to every single thing. And the yellow tends to be a very intellectual understanding, whereas turquoise tends to be very much an experience of being. So when it comes to uh, yellow, it's about you are able to see through the lens of all the lower levels. You're able to see. So this is where we realize all truths are true in yellow. All truths are true. And this is something that I've been fascinated with because whatever we believe to be true, I believe is our reality. So is anyone else really right or wrong? The answer is no, because that's their belief system. You see, priorly, each, each level would get angry at the other levels and not understand why they didn't understand the others. And with that anger, it was like there was no, it was like brush, you know, brushing up and, and um, beating up against each other. Now, the key to all this and the thing that I noticed, let me give you some also practicalness of this and, and share with you my perspectives on if you're watching this video right now. A lot of spiritual awakening, I believe, happens between orange and green. Orange, law of attraction, success, trying to manifest love, a relationship, all of, all of that. And... Uh, in a successful business, but then eventually realize, you know what? Success doesn't equal happiness. Happiness is what I can actually give. That's when I feel happy. And that give, then we realize that we're more in the green and that's when the spiritual awakening happens. Wait, I'm more than my ego because in orange, there's a great big ego that's developed, a willpower, a determination. And what we find is that then we eventually want to give it up to then be in that of green, which is all about love, connection, flow, more feminine. And that's where a lot of times spiritual awakening happened. For me, I was growing up mainly between blue. I wanted to be orange for a long time because I, I, my dad was very rules oriented. Um, I grew up kind of going to church here and there, but it never really resonated with me. I was definitely more intrigued by orange. And then what happened is I was focused on that. I was learning about the law of attraction. Then I went through a spiritual awakening and I started to understand reality in a different way. And I started to kind of way pull myself more into green and yellow, parts of yellow. Uh, but 
but mainly green, where I was all about, all about the metaphysical information, understanding that we're all energy, we're all connected, and what I have found though is that then I eventually went back down to orange to then grow a successful business, to grow the YouTube channel. Now understand this, this isn't like all of your energy is at one level. I would say that maybe my orange is quite strong with me when I'm growing a business. Now I'm, get, I'm getting ready and I've been moving more into green. Uh, I would say if I were to, to, to put it into perspective, I would say that a lot of my own energy is a good percentage, 50, 60% in orange. And then I would say the rest is a mix of green and a little bit of yellow. I would like, my ego would like to think, oh, I've got a lot more yellow than, than I think because I'd like to say, oh, uh, that's higher vibrational, but that's an orange perspective to want to just be the highest, right? <laughs> but I have realized since being successful and since making a lot of money that it doesn't equal everything. And then that's kind of pushed me more towards my spiritual practice and understanding having abundance for everybody. Now. Here's the interesting thing. If you're watching this video, then most likely you are at least at orange. You want success. You maybe found my law of attraction content and you're interested in that and you want to manifest even using these higher principles, some of which tap into green and community and adding value. You know, a lot of what I talk about is the more value you put out into the world, the more abundance comes back, which is kind of like a mix of a green and orange perspective. You're probably, the way that people, these different levels would view me, blue people, Blue level, uh, blue level would view me and probably be completely triggered by my content. People would be like, oh, like what is he talking about? Like how does he even know these things? Where does he even think he gets these ideas from? That would be more from a blue perspective, so most likely you're not at blue. Most likely you are in isolation between green and orange, and like I said, a little bit of all, a little bit of both. You carry with you each of the lower levels as well. Now, the thing is, is most of the people, and I think the reason some people, res a lot of people resonate with my content that normally wouldn't is because I'm so rooted in orange and I have a lot of what orange people may want. What I mean by that is people may look, normally look to green and be triggered by it in orange because green is kind of hippy dippy. It's kind of like, oh, love, joy, and peace. It's the guy with the dreadlocks, nothing wrong with that. But when a lot of people in orange look at that, they think, Psh, I don't want anything to do with that. I'm practical, I'm, I'm more uh, about the science, I'm more about this, I'm a hard worker, I want success. And then they look to the, the hippy dippy and they don't resonate with it, but then here I come along with the teachings that I have and I'm somebody that is rooted and has what orange may want. I have a cool lifestyle, I live in a big house, I'm very practical, I'm, I explain things with confidence and that intrigues some of the people in the upper oranges getting ready to make the shift into the green, which is spiritual awakening. So the green is then a little bit more attractive because I'm like, listen, I understand that some of this, th this seems woo woo, but understand that when we move into green, there's all these benefits. Life becomes magical. We're all connected. And then eventually once we're in that all connected space and we're going through there, we realize that just love doesn't actually solve all the problems. It's not just about caring. It's about developing systems. It's about developing a process for connecting these things together and problem solving by seeing all these different perspectives through a different lens. So in a way, I think many of you watching this video are between orange, green, and maybe a little bit of yellow, mainly because that's kind of where I am. And I think that a lot of you like attracts like, and um, this is one, even some people hard in orange may not agree with some of the things I'm saying because they may be really, really hard in orange, but I think the ability that I have with my channel is I help people that are uh, green curious. I was talking to my buddy about this the other day. More green curious and, uh, and, and then want to make the jump into the spiritual awakening of understanding that we're all connected. So um, I mainly talked about yellow and below. Yellow would be that big tier, understanding all these different perspectives. Turquoise, um, maybe eventually I'll talk a little bit more about that, but it's not as, re I think that these levels right here are the most relatable to the ones of where we're currently at. And when it comes to spiritual dynamics, understand that these are all different levels of consciousness. Now, the interesting thing that happened with, uh, at, at Tony Robbins conference is what he did is it was like the fourth or fifth day of a six day conference. What he did is he had different color hats. He had a blue, he had a red hat, a blue hat, an orange hat, a green hat, and a yellow hat. And what he did, is he had certain people in the audience raise their hand that wanted to volunteer to literally channel this color, to channel this level of consciousness.
So what he did is somebody had the red hat, a blue hat, orange hat, green hat, yellow hat, and what they did is they had them channel that energy and then talk to each other about what do you think about this color? What do you think about this person over here who's wearing the other color hat? So what you get is it was kind of funny. You get the red, the red hat was a guy that's all about power, competition, winning, winning, competition. And that was the kind of energy. And then what happened is you had a guy that was in the blue hat who was shaming everyone else that didn't believe what he believed in, who thought the red guy was just really uh, unevolved, didn't understand the one, the one Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior and going through that, that, um, that perspective. And then what happened is you had the orange, that was this older guy that has, I could tell his total orange, he had to, like that was his, he was actually authentic for him. Some of these people were maybe acting a little bit or maybe they were really uh, believing it. The guy that was in blue, it's funny, I was with my buddy Victor, he's like, he's, I can't believe he seriously is like that. Like the way he, he was so serious, he had such a funny personality with the way he was channeling blue. I was like, bro, he's joking around about it. But he was playing it off really well. Orange guy was all about business, success, yeah, go ahead and, and like your religion and all of this stuff, but I'm about success and progress and you gotta work hard and you gotta have a vision and you gotta work towards that vision. And then what happened is you got the green, it was this lady that was all flow and she was kinda like, you know, just wanted, she's like, yo, Orange, you gotta chill out, man. You're working so hard. You should be more focused on love, understand your love, like what are you working so hard for? You could already have that love inside of you. Why don't you go ground yourself, hug a tree, Maybe go eat some good vegan meal, eat some nutrient rich foods, connect to earth. Don't you realize that what you're doing is harming the planet? That was the person wearing the green. The person, the orange looked at the green and said, you're a little hippie. That was the perspective. Now, of course, these are funny ways of looking at the different levels, but why don't they get along? They're di literally different levels of consciousness. Then what you had is you had the green person that was like that, then you had the yellow person that was able to understand and see all these different perspectives, understand why all these people think the way that they do. You had the purple person that was looking at the red like, I'm attracted to you because you're gonna bring me safety. She's like, yeah, I don't, I don't even know what to think about all these other people. I don't even understand them. That's how she was acting. She was doing a really good job. But red, red, something about red that kind of intrigues me. Red looks kind of attractive. I feel safe around red. Wow, red, that red, it was a guy, it was like a guy that had like this red look, just like oppressive and, and so it was interesting dynamic between these all. They didn't even, they didn't even bother with turquoise because turquoise is such a different level. But in general, this is about understanding that we are, I believe as a society, progressing from one level to another. I believe we are moving from orange into green. And, and we have a potential to go through this, and that's what's happening this lifetime, even with the Great Awakening content. We're moving from the hardcore masculine polarity of achievement and success and business, and we're realizing that maybe it doesn't actually serve us in the long term. Maybe it's time to clean up the planet. Now, like I said, it's a bitter pill to swallow because people, and even me, have the orange within me cringes a little bit at the green, but the green is still in me. The green is, um, uh, is something I'm leaning more and more towards, especially recently. And, and even the yellow of understanding all these processes, but the way that I justify it is I'm like, well, listen, I wanna have a company that uh, influences so many people around the world. I wanna travel, do live events, so I need to develop the resources in order to do so. So in a way that, that pushed me into orange, into really integrating orange, and now I'd say that I understand a lot about marketing and, and being successful and making money, I understand that, but I'm realizing that doesn't really equal happiness. I want to more so understand giving value and adding value to others and that how that when that happens then the more and more abundance comes anyways. It's a higher level of thinking, but also creating systems that help people to move up these different levels of consciousness. So spiral dynamics, I believe, is one of the most powerful processes, modalities, and models for seeing the world in the works of evolutionary psychology. And the practicalness of this is that once you become aware of it, even just becoming aware of what I'm explaining to you right now, will change and help you to see the world in a new way. Because then you may, well, I don't always get along with this blue person in my life, and maybe the reason is, is because they're so in their rules and their regulations. I have, I have friends and I know people that are green that other people are triggered by, and the reason is, is because they're in green and the other people are in blue or orange. It helps me to understand people, and to understand their values, to understand how they think. One isn't worse than the others. This also isn't like we have to view it as I'm higher vibrational than that person. It just helps us understand these different levels. In our lifetime, we have the ability, we have a gravity. Most of us will have a gravity. 
and then we'll have some of the other colors in us as well. So we may have a little bit of yellow and a lot of green and a little bit of orange, or it may have a lot of orange, a little bit of green, and kind of be intrigued by yellow. Orange will normally want to jump to yellow as well. Another trap of this whole process, by the way, is whatever level you are at, you want to think that you're too above it. I would love to believe that I'm all yellow, <laughs> that I understand all the lower ones, and I would love my ego, it's the orange in me that wants to be yellow. Now when people say, I'm probably turquoise, they're most likely green. <laughs> it's just kind of how it works. Um, now, not always, but in general, there's a trick that the ego plays with trying to be and get to an upper and upper level. And what I've realized is that being honest uh, with myself is I'm probably not as much yellow as I think that I am. I'm probably more orange and green. Uh, but nonetheless, this is a, a time on the planet where we have the ability to practice, you know, to move up these different levels and to become aware of them. And even becoming aware and understanding these different levels help us to raise our level of consciousness. Now, I would say that a lot of, you know, I, I, I can understand where the green thinks, I can understand where the orange thinks, I can understand these, so there's obviously some level of yellow, and if you can see why these people think the way they do, then that's already, that means there's some yellow activated in you. Otherwise, you would say, no, this is the way reality works, this is horrible for the planet, when not seeing that we all have some of these within us, and they all serve us in a certain way. So these are the different levels of spiral dynamics. Let me know what you think of this video. If you want me to do a new, a whole series on this, let me know, go ahead and like this video, comment, uh, share this video if it was a powerful process for you, and let me know what you think. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace, much love, and namaste.